How many times have you asked someone to take a coffee or to take a drink with you? Well, you're actually using in that situation to take in the incorrect way. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why take is such a special verb, the nouns that you can use it with, and then I'm going to go through the phrasal verbs that have take in them. So, let's get started. Ah, before we start, obviously, I would like you to uh, connect with me on all my social media that's here. I've got Instagram, Facebook, Weibo, and obviously you can subscribe to me here on YouTube for more free English lessons. Okay, so what makes the verb to take so special? Well, the answer is it's what we call a light verb. It's also known as a dilexical verb as well. And other verbs in the light verb group are have, give, make, do, and go. You might remember that I've already done a video on make and do. And light verbs are verbs that, when used on their own, they have very little meaning, but when partnered with another noun, they have much more meaning. And there's specific nouns that go with specific light verbs. So today I'm going to talk you through all of the nouns and situations that take can be used with. Okay, so to take can go with washing nouns and resting nouns. To take a shower, to take a bath, to take a rest, to take a nap, and to take a break. A couple of examples, I need to take a shower before we go, and why don't you take a break? Now, these nouns are not strictly confined to to take. You can often use have in many of these situations, but knowing that these verbs go with to take will certainly help you with your writing and also when it comes to understanding native speakers. Okay, so now we've got some more examples of how we can use take. We can use to take with care, and this has two meanings in this case. We can say, can you take care of my cat? And this means, can you look after my cat? or take care when walking alone at night, and this means be careful when walking alone at night. Then we have a photo. I often hear, can you make a photo, or can you make me a photo? Make would be create with my hands. So we use take. Can you take a photo? Can you take a picture? We took loads of great photos. And a risk, so again, we don't make a risk, we take a risk. I'll take a risk and tell her I love her. That's a big risk. Always think twice before doing that. Okay, then a look. Take a look at my new iPhone. That's what you use when you're showing something to somebody. Um, a walk. We took a walk in the park. Nice thing to do after lunch. And then finally, to take advantage of. Let's take advantage of the good weather and go to the beach. Now, please remember that to take advantage of can be both positive and negative. Sometimes you're taking advantage of something in an unfair way. So an example would be, don't take advantage of my generosity. Don't use my generosity to your advantage. Okay, now we're on to our beloved phrasal verbs. Note, this is just a list of what I consider to be the most important ones. Um, if I went through all of the options, it would take hours. So I'm not going to put you through that. Um, so the first one is to take off. This has two meanings. So I'm hot, I'll take off my jacket. I'm hot, I'll remove my jacket. Um, the plane takes off in 45 minutes. The plane goes into the air in 45 minutes. Okay. Then we have take up, which is to start a hobby or sometimes a habit as well. So I've recently taken up skiing or I've recently taken up smoking. The opposite of that would be to give up. I've given up smoking, I've given up skiing. Okay, then we have to take over. Let me take over, you're doing it wrong. This means to get control, to take control. Let me take over, let me take control. Okay, to take after. This is something that gets said to me rather a lot. Many people say that I take after my mother. This can mean that I resemble my mother in either character or appearance or sometimes both. Okay, take away. She took my phone away from me. Okay, and this again means removed, but in this case she removes it and puts it in another place. Take out. He took me out for dinner. Now when we say to take out, it often means to take someone to a restaurant or a bar and you invite them and you pay for it normally. Normally, not always. 
Ah, oh, well, that's the end of my take lesson. I hope you learnt something. Remember to uh, subscribe to all this beautiful stuff here. I've got my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and my Weibo. I also have a Patreon site, which you can check out. That's a way that if you would like to sponsor my videos, you can make a contribution and earn some rewards. Rewards include personal one-to-one -one Skype lessons with me, little letters from me, and also some writing corrections. Check it out, see if you'd like to contribute, but this is free content, I love making it for you, so you're not obliged at all. It's only for if you want to help out. Right, now I'm off to the pub. Where else? It's a Tuesday. <laughs>